Hey McGinn, welcome back to our last read aloud of the first week of our 2020-2021 school year. It's Mr. Lone. Uh, you guys did a great job this week um, getting back into the flow of uh, learning and uh, adapting to uh, what is going to be our virtual uh, setup until uh, we get the chance to be together again. So um, applause to you guys for doing a, a wonderful job. Um, we're going to finish this week with a book called too Many Carrots by Katie Hudson. It's one of our books that came in our recent delivery. <clears throat> Rabbit loved carrots. He collected them wherever he went. Rabbit was proud of his collection and burrowed it away in his cozy hole. But Rabbit had a problem, a big problem. He couldn't sleep. His cozy hole was too crowded to live in. I need a place to sleep, Rabbit told Tortoise. You could share my house, Tortoise offered. It looks cozy and snug, Rabbit said. Maybe it's a little too snug for two, suggested Tortoise. Not at all, said Rabbit. Uh-oh, oh dear, ouch, ouch, oh, crash. Oh dear, well, perhaps we can stay in Bird's nest, said Rabbit. My nest is quite small, Rabbit, said Bird. Well, I'm sure we will all fit, replied Rabbit. Rabbit hauled all his carrots up the tree. Whoa, groaned Tortoise and Bird as the branch wobbled and swayed and snapped. Crash! I'm so sorry, Bird. Now three of us don't have a place to sleep, said Rabbit. You can sleep in my house, offered Squirrel. Oh, thank you, Squirrel. How kind of you, said Rabbit. I don't think any more carrots will fit, Rabbit, said Squirrel. Just a few more, Rabbit replied. Uh-oh, whimpered Tortoise, Bird, and Squirrel. Creak, crack, crash. Now four of us don't have anywhere to sleep, grumbled Squirrel. You can sleep in my house, called Beaver. It has plenty of space. Great, I can bring even more carrots, Rabbit said with a smile. But with all your carrots, we can't fit inside, said Beaver, a bit bewildered. Just then, the rain started. Tortoise shivered. Bird whimpered. Squirrel squeaked. And Beaver heard a terrible rumble as his house collapsed. Oh no, my house, yelled Beaver. Oh no, my carrots, cried Rabbit. <clears throat> ah! Crash! The friends groaned as they were swept up onto the river bank. Rabbit felt terrible. His friends were cold, tired, and homeless, and it was all his fault. Even worse, Rabbit still had all of his carrots and his house. And that's when he realized there was only one thing to do. Share everything with his friends. After all, carrots weren't for collecting they were for sharing. And sharing made everything better. So a nice light read aloud to end the week, but remember, go ahead, share with your friends, share with your family, and enjoy this weekend again. We'll see you soon.